Hello everyone, this is Mad Dog. I hope you're all doing very well. I've had the opportunity to talk with an ex Mirage 2000 pilot lately, and uh, he was specializing in ground attack. And with uh, our discussion, I came up with a little uh, procedure based on what he was able to uh, tell me about the, what he was using in the military. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, a little bit of theory um, for a pop-up attack. Let's say we are to attack this runway on a attack heading of 270 degrees. So if we're coming in from the south, we're going to concentrate on the left side of the picture here. So our initial heading should be the final heading plus 30 degrees. And that's because our final turn is to the left. So we add 30 degrees. So initial uh, attack heading will be this one here, which is going to be in our case today 300 degrees we hold 300 degrees inbound track until six miles off the target six miles off the target we turn right an additional 30 so that's going to put us on 330 heading climb 30 degrees be precise during this maneuver put the flight path vector right on 30 degrees look to your left acquire the target and your final turn to the attack heading of 270 should coincide with your altitude being 7,000 feet higher than the uh, target elevation. If we are coming in from the north with a final turn of to the right, then we are on this side of the picture. So our initial heading will be final heading minus 30 degrees. So 270 minus 30, that's 240. So our initial track here is going to be 240 degrees. Hold until six miles, left turn 30 degrees, in this case, it's going to be 210, climb 30, look to the right, acquire the target, and again, your final turn to your attack heading at 270, and altitude should coincide. Let's look at another example. Our final attack, uh, our final turn for the attack is to the left, so we're going to add 30 degrees. So the required attack heading is 330. So we're going to go Initial heading, 330 plus 30. So we're going to be coming in on an inbound track of 360 degrees. At 6 miles, turn right 30. So we're going to be on a heading at 030. Acquire the target, climb, and final turn to the left, which is going to put us on an attack heading of 330, and drop the bomb. First, we need a target. Today's target will be uh, designated via the uh, waypoint designate function. We know it's at waypoint one. We're going to go waypoint designate. We see that the uh, target is to the north of us. So if we're coming from north and we are directed to attack on a final attack heading of 080, that means that our last turn will be to the right so I need to come in at the heading of 050 for the initial attack heading. So we're going to go course, select and maintain until C cell uh, shows up. Then, then we're going to select 050. Enter. So this is our inbound track. We are well set up to intercept it with a left turn. So let's do that now. And we'll do that as we uh, get lower also. Left side, we're going to make sure our master arm is arm, master mode air to ground, select our Mark 82s, mode CCIP today, mechanical fuse on nose, electronic fuse on instant, and as we navigate at the same time, let's look at our HSI, looks good, altitude looks good, airspeed looks good, uh, we're going to go UFC, altitude. quantity 4, enter, interval 50 feet, enter and multiple of one so we can confirm that on the uh, stores page program one quantity four multiple one interval 50 feet and here is our initial track currently 045 let's go left a bit to make it a nice even 050 let's get lower make our speed 540 
currently 12 miles from the target. Our next turn will be at 6 miles. Left 30 degrees. So from 050, we're going to turn left to 020. Here we are, 050. Initial heading, speed 540. 8 miles. 7. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, left turn. 0, 2, 0, max power. Up 30 degrees. Be precise with that. Look right. Acquire the target. No, it's on the ramp. Right here. Turn. Power back. Idle. Targets are on the ramp, and our heading is 080. Flight path vector Altitude. just beyond the targets. Altitude. And pickle. Power up. Nose above the horizon and maneuver. Target destroyed. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comment section what you think about this procedure when you try it. Thanks. See you next time.